I've always been obsessed with dresses. You can draw a dress and you can imagine wearing it. I started to realize at some point it wasn't enough to just draw them. I want to actually create it. When I wear historical clothing, it not only connects me to the dress itself and makes me feel pretty, I also feel like I get such a great understanding of people from the past. When I was young, I wanted to become both a doctor and an artist. I chose to become an anesthesiologist because I just fell in love with the immediacy of it. And I love moving fast and doing things quickly to try to rescue someone. People compare me frequently to hummingbirds because I just run around doing everything. Being able to express that in a job that also requires being fast was just too perfect. Being able to go to work and do what I do is really important, but being able to go home and create art also helps me find a balance with everything. I feel like it makes me a better person. When I was in residency, they kept on telling me that I had to be only one thing, but the thing is, I don't think I ever was just one thing. Every dress is born from an idea, and after that, I go to my sketch pad and draw it out. Once the details are all set and decided, I then have to choose the fabric. I'll go for as historically accurate a fabric as possible, which oftentimes includes making my own, whether it's by embroidery or painting it with markers or actual paint. And then once that's all done, I'll then cut it out and stitch it together. And there's this absolutely wonderful moment when you look at it and you know that the dress is going to work out. When I first moved to St. Louis, I founded the St. Louis Historical Sewing Society. Matt, everyone's here. And what we do is we meet up every couple of months and we dress up in historical costumes. Hey guys! We don't wish we were born in that era. We're not celebrating colonialism. Instead, when we talk about fashion, it is a history of women's work and their own genius. So I feel like I'm celebrating them by recreating their work. Imagine historical dresses in the whale. I'm really glad that I never gave up on any of my dreams. So now being able to be a doctor artist, I feel like I get to express myself in every way I want to.